A couple of weeks ago, you might remember, we did a video on the Sea Quartz leather system, which was supposed to protect the leather from dirt and dye transfer. We applied it to both the Ferrari and the Range Rover Sport. In the Ferrari, we applied it to both of the seats. We also applied it to the sill panels and the door handles to stop them getting any dirt transfer or requiring any more cleaning than they already need. We also applied it to one seat in the Range Rover Sport, which was the passenger seat, and we didn't apply it to the driver's seat. We just cleaned both seats, applied it to the passenger seat, left the driver's seat unprotected. So what we're gonna do now is we'll jump over and see whether the system has protected and whether it's worked or not. So, this is the passenger side seat which we protected with the Sea Quartz leather protectant. You remember we cleaned both seats and we protected the passenger side seat with the leather system but we didn't protect the driver side seat. And what we noticed is that in the creases and folds of the passenger side seat there's noticeably less dirt than there is on the driver's side seat. On the bolster on the side of the passenger side seat there's also less dirt from getting in and out. I've left this video for three weeks so we've had three weeks of wear on both seats evenly. When this car's used, there's always two people in there, so it gets an equal amount of wear. And we've also been trying to make sure that we've been wearing the same type of clothes and the same colours, so that we're both wearing dark clothes, light clothes and a mixture, and also wearing jeans, which can add to your dye transfer problems. But I'm happy to say that the Sea Quartz leather has actually made a difference on the passenger side seat. It is really cleaner and from what they say now, we should just be able to use a damp cloth to clean any of the surface dirt that's on there, which we'll give a try in a minute. But I'm just going to jump over to the driver's side seat and show you how dirty that one has become in this last three weeks. This is the driver's seat and it is noticeably dirtier. It's dirtier in the seams of the seat. It's also dirtier in the areas where the driver would sit, but it's mainly a lot dirtier in this area here on the bolster where you get in and out. So the Sea Quartz leather does actually work and it is protecting the seat properly. So we've got a lot of dirt build up in the standard areas that I always expect to get dirt build up. But on the passenger side seat, I'm happy to say that this dirt build up is almost being eliminated. And any that is there, we're supposed to be able to clean with a damp cloth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a damp cloth now. We're gonna see if we can clean some of the driver's seat and then see if we can clean some of the passenger side seat and see where we end up. So let's try, we've got a damp microfiber cloth, uh, which we're just gonna wipe on and see if any of this dirt does come off without using a leather cleaning kit. Which, it is fetching some of the dye off. You can see there um, how much dirt there is, but it's not doing a phenomenal job. We've still got dirt patches here, um, which we can wipe at, and we're still getting more dye transfer coming off, but the leather is still grubby. And bearing in mind how grubby this was when we first cleaned it in the second video in this series, um, you'll remember we need to use a decent cleaner to clean up this ivory leather because it does attract this type of dye. It, it's inherent with it so what I'll do now is I'll jump over to the passenger seat which is relatively clean anyway but we'll jump over there and we'll just see what sort of cleaning we can do on there again with the damp microfiber cloth okay so we've seen that that is the amount of dye that came off the driver's seat now we're going to do the passenger seat so what I'll do is fold the cloth over We've got a new section that's clean and what I'd like to hopefully see this time is that when we wipe the drivers the passenger side seat sorry that we don't get as much dye coming off of the seat onto the cloth which will then show that the seat isn't attracting and locking in any of the dye so let's give it a wipe over using the same amount of pressure just giving the seat a wipe over There we go, nice and easy. Still bringing out the same amount of dye, but I'm noticing that the seat is a lot cleaner in these areas where the driver's seat is a lot dirtier. Also, the bolsters are cleaner. It's taking a lot less effort than it would normally take to clean these seats. And although we are getting some dye, you know, it does seem to be less than the driver's seat. It's probably hard for you to see 
on camera but it's very very easy to clean the passenger side seat by just wiping it's coming back up to a decent quality clean and you can also see the water is sort of beading on the surface because the um, the sea quartz leather does have a hydrophobic effect it's almost as though you've got that hydrophobic effect on the seat as though they've been waxed and you can see the water even though it's only in a small line is beading into more straight lines so it is quite good and um, yeah I would say that if you do have leather interior in your car definitely get the sea quartz leather system it's not the cheapest in the world but as we've just shown it does actually work so I'll give it a thumbs up it's a great product and I would highly recommend it so as you can see the system does work the passenger side seat was less dirty than the driver's side seat the driver's side seat had all the dirt in the usual places on the creases of the seat and on the joints in the leather panels whereas the passenger side seat didn't have as much dirt transfer at all the dye was noticeable on the driver's side seat but it wasn't noticeable on the passenger side seat when we clean the seat with the driver's side seat we would need to use an aggressive or at least a mild leather cleaner on the passenger side seat we could simply use a damp microfiber towel and another towel to wipe up with it was also interesting to see the hydrophobic effect of the sea quartz leather when we wiped the passenger side seat you could see the water was beading like a freshly waxed panel it looked pretty much the same but obviously on a leather seat which was quite strange to see but it does show how the system will protect the leather from dye transfer and dirt and even spillages because if you do spill any type of liquids onto the sea quartz leather system it will go into a droplet and it will be that way so that you can mop it up afterwards so I do highly recommend that if you have a leather interior whether it be dark or light that you invest in the sea quartz leather product it's easy to apply it's straightforward and it makes cleaning a breeze I really do recommend it it will just make your life so much easier especially if you have a car or two cars in my case with an ivory or light colored leather interior i can't say fairer than that this is not a paid video i don't get paid to do any of my reviews i just tell you what i think's good and because i'm paying for it with my own money if i think it's rubbish i will tell you that and this product really isn't it's a fantastic bit of kit and i really do recommend that you go out and get it if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos and share. And if there's anything that you do need to know or anything that you want to see in the future, just let us know in the comments box below. See you next time. I'm wearing a hat because I have really bad hair.